Hi, Andrew here. Today I would like to teach you how to balance the reaction of sodium plus chlorine yields sodium chloride. So the first thing is I like to just put in these little spacers or these little lines that will represent the location of the coefficients, okay? The locations of the numbers I'm gonna place in in order to balance this equation, all right? So the uh, next step is to keep in mind the general principle that whatever elements or however many elements I have here on the left better balance however many elements I have here on the right-hand side, okay? Next is to then just work with the first element that you see. And you want to make sure, so sodium, that it's only in one place on the left-hand side, which it is, and only in one place on the right-hand side, which it is. So I want to balance it, okay? Take a look at now the subscripts. You have one sodium on the left, and you also have one sodium on the right. So that's already balanced. Just move on. Next element is going to be chlorine. Now, subscript of chlorine here is going to be a 2. And the subscript of chlorine on this side is going to be a 1. So that is not balanced. You have two chlorines on the left, only one chlorine on the right. So I want to place a coefficient on the lower side, okay? Now, all you have to think about is multiplicatively. Some number, right? Some number multiplied by one better equal two, okay? Because you need two chlorines on the right-hand side. So how? what would that number be? Well, that number would simply be a two, right? So if you take two and you multiply it by one, you get a total of two chlorines on the, on the right-hand side and you also had two chlorines on the right-hand side. So that balances now the chlorine. Now you might say, oh great, we're done. Or oh, wait a minute, are we, Andrew? Because didn't we just screw up the sodium value? And I say, yes, we did. But who cares? Just go back and double check everything, right? So watch now, take a look at sodium. We got one sodium on the left. And now we have, oh, we don't have one sodium on the right anymore because you have this coefficient, right? Two times one, you have a total of now two sodiums on the right, okay? So if you have one sodium on the left and now two sodiums on the right, you have to place a number on the lower side. What number would you place there? You'd place a two, right? Because two times one is a total of two sodiums. Two, 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 two. So that's all there is to it now. I'm just going to clean this up. If you wanted to place a value here of a one just as a placeholder, be my guest, uh, but you don't have to. So here you have two sodiums now. On this side, you have two sodiums. Here you have two chlorines, and you also have two chlorines, so it's fully balanced. That's the balanced equation. Guys, so thanks so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. If you can, like, subscribe, help us out. We really appreciate your support so very much. Maybe even tell some of your classmates if we helped you out with this. We also have, by the way, thousands of other videos out there for you, helping you through other classes, not only chemistry, but physics and mathematics as well. And we solve specific problems, okay? We show you how to do it. We want you to really do well on those tests and get to where you got to go. Take care.